And welcome back to the 2021 NASCAR GT Cup Series hosted here on Gran Turismo Sport. 13 drivers all set and ready for the beginning of this one. It's round 11 of the 2021 GT Cup Series live on Gran Turismo Sport from the Red Bull Ring. And these drivers have their hands full here today. The track is wet. The conditions are slippery. And we're going to see who parks it in victory lane. Even Steven, the points leader in the Audi R8, is on the pole for today's race. Jesse Carlson in the 48 Chevy Corvette starts in second. Bill Baldwin in the 21 Mazda Atenza in third. And Dirt Dude out of Germany in the Corvette starts in fourth. The green flag has been shown. These drivers are down and away, and we are underway for the first rain race of 2021. See the rooster tails coming off these cars, the water spraying off. See Carlson in second there, right behind your race leader, and already a challenge for the third position. Dude out of Germany looking for that third place position in the Chevy Corvette, and he nearly pulled it off. Bill Baldwin had slightly better traction coming out of that corner. The Canadian driver right behind him in fifth, and there's Shadow running in sixth. And Hanum running in seventh, Timac scored in eight. Bowman Nation in ninth, and rounding up the top ten, The Beast making his debut here this season. Robert Lohman Sr. runs 11th. Rizak scored in 12th. And Ollie running in 13th, round, rounding out the field here. Everyone seems to have a bit of a clean start. I don't think anybody went off course. I don't think any contact was made with the wall. No serious slip-ups yet, but we do expect a few of those in this race. In fact, uh, there's a few over there. Shadow off course back here, and he's going to drop back into the ninth place position, and we can tell you that Dude out of Germany has dropped back to seventh. And Hannum is now up into sixth, making his very first start in the GT Cup Series, driving the BMW. Time act just in front of him, 2018 world champion, and two wins this season for him. Contact between he and the American driver of Hannum, just behind them. The German driver goes to pit road, I believe. No, he doesn't. He was out of our frame for a moment. He made it three wide, and he's actually going to retake those two positions and get back into the top five. Steven on cruise control for the most part. Back up at the front here, Jesse Carlson in hot pursuit. Bill Baldwin has settled into third. And the Canadian driver of Bad running in fourth. Kind of on his own as well. And it's a three car battle for fifth, sixth, and seventh. Golden Nation running in the eighth place position. And we have problems over here. Big problems, actually. into the right-hand turn. Let's see what happened. Looks like the German driver gets out of line and, and Hanum ran into him. Slowed down to give him the position back out of respect, I believe, and Tymac was able to cruise past both of those drivers. And picks up the positions and now runs P4. Bowman Nation really won out of this one as well. He's driving the Dale Earnhardt throwback paint job. Scored in the sixth place position. driver now falls back to the 10th place position. 11 cars left on the racetrack. We have had some attrition early in this one. We started with 13 down to 11 and we expected a wild race here and it, it's still wild. Hanum gets off course back here and, and now Robert Lohman Sr up into the fifth place position in the number 42 Chevy Corvette having a solid race would be a breakout performance for him. His best finish in this series is sixth. And it came last season. Looking to better that here with his first ever top five finish. Ooh, got a little bit out of shape there. Shadow right behind him. In the Ferrari, Shadow took a look to the inside and then thought better of it. Ooh, Loman Sr. holds on to it. The, all of these cars are getting sideways almost every corner. The track is soaked, and now the German driver, Dirdud, is coming back to the front. 
He's back up into seventh, and he was tenth a moment ago in crazy legs. No traction going into turn one. Shadow followed him off course. There's Shadow getting back on course. Heartbreaker for both of those drivers. They were battling for fifth place when that happened. Back up front, Ian Stevens got the lead. Jesse Carlson runs in second. Bill Baldwin, two-time Super GT Series champion here on Gran Turismo, running in third. And then it's Tymac running in fourth, a considerable distance behind the top three. Then it's an even larger distance back to the driver in fifth, and that is Dur Dude, who qualified up in the top five, running in that blue and white Chevy Corvette. Still having a solid race, and there's a lot of time left in this one, so if he can keep it pointed in the right direction and keep running the lap times he's running, he might be able to run down some of these drivers in front of him before the end of this one. Oh, and just behind him, Beast goes off course, and the Toyota Supra contact with the, with the wall. He's coming back on track now, and he's going to fall in line to 10th, and that is a tough break for him. Robert Lohman Sr. scored in ninth, trying to recover after going off course over in turn one. Bowman Nation now running in eighth, trying to recover after going off course over in turn three. Bowman was up in the sixth place position at one point and a fairly smooth start to the race for Shadow. And he finds himself up in seventh as a result. 60 minute endurance races open the door for some serious strategy. You've got to wonder when these drivers are going to pit, how many pit stops they're going to make. Oftentimes, if they're going two stop strategy, you'll see them pit at the 20 minute mark and 40 minute mark of this race. They are one hour endurance races here in the NASCAR GT Cup Series. We've seen strategy play a, a key factor into deciding who stands on the podium here in these races many times this season, past seasons, any time. We've seen one-stop strategies work, two stops. We've seen three-stop strategies work from time to time at certain race tracks, especially the tracks uh, that have a short uh, a period of time where you uh, enter your pit stall, short pit roads. Wasn't easy for me to say for some reason. And a uh, shout out to Hannum. He just barely held onto the car in that corner there, and that's a tough one over there. You're coming down a hill, and the track is absolutely soaked at this point, stretched out there. And you're coming down a hill and making a hard, sharp right-hand turn. It's pretty much almost a U-turn, a degree of a corner over there, and Hannah was able to do a good job hanging on to the car. Don't often see the BMWs run here in the GT Cup Series for some reason. I'm not, I'm not sure why, because whenever they do, they do pretty well. And Hannum is off to a pretty good start here in his debut. He's got Shadow in the Ferrari, a little bit more experience in the GT Cup Series than Hannum, and he's going to go ahead and take that, oh, I was going to say he's going to go ahead and take that sixth place position away, but a little bit of a slip there. And he's going to have to hang on to seventh for now, but I don't know if he's going to be able to do that. Here comes Bowman Nation in the Corvette just behind him with a big run. He might have seventh by the time they get to turn one. But turn one's been tricky all race long, especially when two drivers are trying to outbreak one another. And in this particular situation, they both held on to it. Shadow is a Triple Crown winner on the NASCAR Heat Games in NASCAR. Bowman Nation, a former NASCAR Platinum Cup Series race winner, and that was back on NASCAR Heat 3. There's Tynak running fourth. This year's Rolex 8 winner for the Super GT class. The NASCAR champion on NASCAR Heat 4. And he's having a solid race so far up there in the top five. But not really within striking distance to the front runners, the top three, the drivers that are looking to stand on the podium here today. Even Steven on his own, not being hounded or challenged. There's Jesse Carlson, and you can kind of get an idea there a moment ago uh, on how far behind the race leader Jesse is. And Bill Baldwin coming in third, slowly losing the top two on his own as well. One of the faster cars on the racetrack is the German driver of Dude, and he's running in fifth, but he, he's way behind the, the top three. He's gaining a lot of ground on Tymac for fourth, but 
He's not gaining any ground on the top two. Seems like he's got a third place car in terms of the lap times right now, maybe fourth place. Time will tell as, as the race rolls along. And I'm not out of this thing yet. Bowman Nation has worked his way up to seven. Ten cars left on the racetrack. 14 started this one. First green race of the season might be the only one. Mother Nature threw us a curveball here today. Red Bull Ring. On ground for his most fourth. Round 11. 18 race season. After today, we only have seven races remaining. It's even Steven who is leading the points as we go. Ned unable to be here for today's race is going to take a huge hit in the point standings. Jesse Carlson in second place. If he can hang on, he's going to go up a couple of spots. Bill Baldwin going for the championship as well. Tymac with two wins, currently third in the point standings, going for it as well. Part timers, dude, German driver running fifth. It's winner bust for him today, or podium for perhaps Hannum making his series debut, running in sixth. Top five would be phenomenal for him and that BMW team. He's got Bowman Nation not too far behind him. Bowman running part-time as well for the most part. He's only missed a couple. Shadow running full-time in the Ferrari. The top 10 material almost every single race. I believe there's only been one race where he's finished outside the top 10 so far this season. And that was Brands Hatch and a problem there for Hannum. And it was that right-hand turn at the bottom of the hill that I've been talking about, and it's, that looked like the corner that he had been struggling with the most so far. And it finally, finally went bad for him. He looped it, got it back going, and pointed in the right direction fairly quickly, but lost a lot of time in two positions on the racetrack. There's Beast in the Toyota Supra trying to recover after spinning out earlier and going off course. 23 car, running in ninth, and on pit road is Robert Bowman Sr. Number 42, Pepsi, Chevy Corvette. The only car really uh, able to run the lap times and the pace, uh, remotely close to what the leader can is Jesse Carlson. Jesse has won NASCAR GT Cup Series win. It was last year at Blue Moon Bay Speedway. He's been running full-time in the NASCAR Super GT Series this year, looking for his first win in that series, and he's come close a couple of times, but he's not been able to do it so far. So he's looking for career win number two here in the GT Cup class, here today at the Red Bull Ring, and he's looking pretty strong so far, but I don't know. He might need to come up with some sort of pit strategy, might need to find a bit more speed, might need to change his tires. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what it's going to take. Might need even Steven to make a mistake at this point. Steven showing why he's a two-time champion here in the NASCAR GT Cup Series. Rain or shine, folks, this driver is usually top of the class here, top of the board in. The GT Cup Series really loves these GR3 cars. He's won the championship before in, in a Subaru and right now leads the points for his new team here in an Audi R8, bringing the same black and lime green, excuse me, black and sky blue Audi R8, uh, Audi R8 to the track every week and seems to be up front almost every time. How about Bill Baldwin running in third in the Mazda Atenza? Looking to be the third and final driver on the podium from today's race. Didn't expect to come out and win today's rain race. He knew once he saw the rain that his chances of winning were, in his opinion anyways, extinguished. But he, he's done great, all things considered. He doesn't have the, uh, the speed that he would hope for in the wet, wet conditions, but still running in third and looking to stand on the podium here at the end of the day. Two-time NASCAR Super GT Series champion in the GR1 cars. Five career wins here in the NASCAR GT Cup Series. None so far here in 2021, but it's, I, I think only a, it's, a, it's only a matter of time until he changes that. He has seven more opportunities before we crown a champion. And Shadow comes to pit road in the process. Bowman picks up a position, goes up to the sixth place position in the number eight Chevy Corvette. And a strong run for him. 
maybe he's all about the rain races. I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you he's happy he came out for today's race. He's not run full time. He's missed a couple this season. Sol solidly positioned inside the top 10 as of right now. Nine cars left on the racetrack. We've had quite a bit of attrition in this race due to the wet conditions. And it's, it's really allowing some of these drivers to shine that don't normally get an opportunity to run up towards the front. Bowman's knocking on the door for a top five finish here. And so is the German driver of Dude. He's running the Chevy Corvette. The Corvettes are running strong. They're running in second, fifth, and sixth right now on the racetrack, and ninth for that matter. Chasing the Audi R8 of Even Steven. The top six cars are currently on the lead lap, but Even Steven's literally about to change that now as they head into the next corner. Bowman Nation is going to go one lap down to your race leader, Even Steven. That leaves the top five cars on the lead lap. Even Steven running 140 and 139 lap times here in the wet conditions at Red Bull Ring, whereas everybody else is running in about the high 140 to 141, 142 region. These drivers really struggling for grip out there, while even Steven is really able to put the pedal to the floor coming out of these corners, and he's really gapped himself from the rest of the field. No pit stops yet amongst all the, the front runners. So they're really making it look like they're going to do a, a one or two stop strategy. So far, nobody's come to pit road. And in the wet conditions, these drivers will be experiencing less tire wear than as if they were in the dry with super socks or socks on. All of these drivers started the race with wet tires on, and we're working lap 14. And these, these drivers, I believe, would be probably any on lap about lap 20 if we were in the dry conditions maybe even lap 21 or 22, so there'd be a lot more fuel used, a lot more tires worn by now, more tire wear, and perhaps pit stops already. Bowman goes for a little bit of a slide, came to a stop and gets it going again. He's in no immediate danger of losing position at this point. He's got a very large gap. It's about 18 seconds back to the driver in seventh, and it's going to be even more now because he's on pit road. And I'm on pit road for service in the BMW. is at the 23 minute mark so it's looking like a two-stop strategy a two-stop race for Hannah <coughs> pardon me Bowman is on pit road. Oh, and never mind, Bowman is out of the race. He is pulled off and he is done for the day. He was having some sort of connection issue when he was on pit road. He was against the wall, so I, I, I assumed that he was just on pit road and that's what it was looking like on his way to pit road. Maybe he was, I, I had no idea what was going on and he is done for the day, pulled off the racetrack and he will finish in ninth after uh, uh, possibly was able to get a top five here in this one. And that is a heartbreaker. The driver of the number eight Chevy Corvette, that Dale Earnhardt throwback paint job. It was a very nice tribute paint job. He had a really good chance of getting a top five finish here today. Another really nice paint job's got to definitely go. We, we got to give a a huge shout out to Jesse Carlson, that Ally number 48 Chevy Corvette, very, very nice. 
and he's making it look even better up there in a podium spot running in second he's about 18 seconds behind your race leader even steven and he's been slowly losing ground ever since the start of the race just seems like even steven is a league of his own he's got a pace that no other driver here today has been able to mirror or match and now jesse is actually going to surrender second place and come to pit road four brand new tires he's going with the wets and i don't blame him no sign of this track drying literally any time soon and Timac was so far behind Jesse that I don't think he's even going to be able to take the third position before Jesse comes back out of pit road and onto the racetrack. And no, he won't. Jesse is down and away back onto the racetrack and Ty will stay in fourth and he's got dude out of Germany in the Chevy Corvette and gaining ground on him rapidly. It's the closest battle for position on the racetrack anywhere is the one for fourth and fifth. And Robert Lohman Sr. scored in eighth, comes to pit road for a pit stop, and it kind of looks, yeah, Jesse Carlson's going to do the same. 48 Ally Chevy Corvette, and this is definitely an unscheduled pit stop. He was just on pit road, so he's definitely made some sort of mistake on the track, a slip up that we missed, and he must have had damage and def definitely needed to come back to pit road, and that's a heartbreaker. He now drops back into the fourth place position, and that leaves third to tie back, but the pace difference between those two. I do believe Jesse, sh he should have enough time before the end of the race to run Timac back down to claim a spot on the podium. Something happened to the German driver as well. Dude has dropped back a, a lot of track time. Uh, not only from Tymac, but from, from Jesse Carlson as well. So there might have been an incident between Jesse Carlson and Dude. I'm not too sure. We'll have to follow up on that a little bit later. If we can find out anything, we'll definitely let you know. And we're still rolling here. And everybody's still chasing even Steven. Nobody seems to have anything for the two-time GT Cup Series champion. As of right now, four cars are on the lead lap. And even Steven is laying down hot laps every single lap here, at, at least for the Red Bull Ring having wet conditions. And at the 30-minute mark on the dot, even Steven takes the access road to pit road for his first and might be his only pit stop of the race. comes the number 15 Audi R8 to a stop in his pit stall. It's going to be four fresh tires. They are going to go with wets. Again, folks, the rain is not lightening up here at all here at the Red Bull Ring facility, and it is still pouring rain out there. These drivers all electing to continue the race on with wets, and some of these drivers trying to stretch it on a one-stop strategy. They're hoping it keeps raining if they put on the wet tires so they don't need to come back to the road whereas some of these drivers that, you know, might be sticking to the one-stop, or excuse me, the two-stop strategy, if it stops raining at some point and the track begins to dry a little bit, at least the racing groove begins to dry, they can think about throwing on the dry tires because they need to come back to pit road anyways. For these one-stop drivers, they want it to keep on raining at this point. Even Steven is one of those guys, and Bill Baldwin and Tymac. Wanted to keep on raining as well, I believe. They went with wets and they're going to the end from here. Here comes Tymac for his pit stop. Waited longer than anybody else and 
going to come on down. Still had a little bit of fuel left in the tank, actually. You can see what his fuel tank looked like on the left-hand side of your screen as they pack it full of gas to go to the finish. And the attrition has been wild in this race, guys. Seven cars left on the racetrack. These wet conditions have really thrown these GT Cup Series drivers a curveball. Bill Baldwin has been on and off pit road. He's good to go to the finish. The top four cars are on the lead lap. Timax scored in fifth. The first car one lap down. You saw just a moment ago he lost the lap to even Steven, your race leader. Under 25 minutes to go. And nobody is running the pace that even Steven is. Jesse Carlson is running the second quickest lap times on the racetrack, but he's got Bill Baldwin right behind him, and they are going to battle for the second and third positions, it looks like. They're both good to go to the end on the fuel and tires that they have, especially if it keeps raining. The German driver dude running in fourth crosses the line now to complete his 22nd lap of the race. It's a long way back still until you find Time Aku runs in fifth and everyone's pretty much pretty spread out at this point. Everybody's got what they have, got what they got until the finish here. The closest battle on the racetrack right now is the one on your screen for second and third between the rookie, Jesse Carlson, in the 48 Chevy Corvette, and Bill Baldwin, two-time Super GT Series champion, the veteran in the Mazda Atenza. Under 20 minutes remaining. And I'll be honest, I've called a lot of NASCAR races for, for Gran Turismo here. And um, <laughs> I've seen this before. I've seen this exact story written before many, many times, and it's always the same character, even Steven. I've seen races dominated before like this in the NASCAR GT Cup Series, and it's always done by even Steven. And he's doing another one of those even Steven races, folks, that he's become famous for. Just complete domination. He's led every lap since the green lights turned on here at the Red Bull Ring. We expected a rainy race, a wet conditions race. And even Steven thrives in those wet conditions. And he's showing us... Showing us some of that... Some of that wheelman talent that he has here on Gran Turismo Sport. One of the very best. He often enters those sport mode races. Always sending in the group chat photos of his wins. He's at the very top of the all-time wins list for NASCAR. For the NASCAR GT Cup Series and the Super GT Series in those GR1 cars. He found victory lane in the NASCAR Legend Series on NASCAR Heat 5 and finished third in the final standings in 2021. So he's testing his sim racing skills on other platforms as well, but his bread and butter, where he truly thrives the most, is right here on Gran Turismo Sport. Can't beat him, folks. He's, he's too good. And a change for second, maybe. Bill Baldwin in the 21 Mazda Atenza putting in a lot of effort here and using up some of the tires on that car to try to stay alongside Jesse Carlson, complete the pass before the next turn. Jesse's going to have the preferred line, but honestly, I would be a little bit afraid of the, if I was Bill because that the inside part of this corner here oh, has no traction, and I was really afraid of Jesse sliding in to Bill, but they both held on to it. And Jesse also hangs on to second place for the time being. That was wild. 
I, I, I'm really shocked that one of them didn't slip a little more than they did. Bill slipped, but later, as they exited the turn, both drivers did a great job through there. And don't look now, but the German driver of Dude is chasing both of these drivers down. He's, he's gaining ground on both of them. I'm just not sure if he's got enough time to get to either one of them. Timac has a large gap to overcome if he's going to challenge any of them for position. Shadow has about a 25, excuse me, about a 45 second gap to Timac to challenge for fifth. Yeah, this late in the race, with these wet conditions and with all the attrition we've had, all of these drivers very spread out at the Red Bull ring and just kind of looking to manage their stuff and hold on to what they have until the very end. Even Steven looking for his sixth win of the season. And looking to extend the points lead and to win another NASCAR GT Cup Series championship and make even more history. He's already cemented his name and NASCAR history so many different times, so many different ways. And another step towards another GT Cup Series championship seems to be happening here today at the Red Bull Ring. Driving in the wet conditions. Only four cars on the lead lap. You can see on your screens actually Dude is in big trouble to go one lap down and finally he does surrender that position to the race leader. Three cars remaining on the lead lap, and they're still trading second and third back and forth. Bill Baldwin just completed the pass, finally, on Jesse Carlson. Just in front of them, you saw Robert Lohman Sr. running in seventh, pulls off to go to pit road. Really been struggling here today, but has kept his car in one piece enough to keep on soldiering on. And since there's been so much attrition, it, Crazy Legs is going to finish in 7th, and Shadow in the Ferrari is going to finish in 6th, unless something major happens here, but they're both pretty much locked into those positions with under 9 minutes remaining in this race. And the battle for 2nd rages on in the wet weather at the Red Bull Ring. Jesse right there behind him. A car length separates the two as they go into the right-hand turn at the bottom of the hill. That's turn three, and it's in the double corner for a couple of cars, and you can see them both getting slideways as they prepare to enter turn five, and now turn six. No grip out there, and the, the rain is really not at all lightened up. It's it's not gotten any harder either, but it's been very consistent to the point where this track has just gotten more and more wet as the race has went along. And if they're going to slip up and make a mistake, I feel like it's going to be now. In fact, we have one around over here and it's Shadow in the Ferrari. He's off in the grass and he's going to get it going again. Not going to lose any positions because of this, but the gap he was trying to make up on Timac has definitely taken a hit and has definitely increased. Again, the closest battle on your screen is this one. Side by side as they come out of turn two, and they're heading towards that trouble turn three. Jesse's got the position now, and wow, the German driver of Dew just came to pit road, and he's hitting out of fourth. I don't think Tymac is close enough to capitalize and be in front of him after this. Oh no, he's not. There's Timac coming down the long front straightaway to turn one, and Dude is on his way to turn two, so he's going to hang on to fourth, and Timac is going to have to settle in for fifth, I believe, in this one. A little bit of a slip, actually, as he exits turn one. Keeps it pointed in the right direction. We're going to keep our eye on the battle for a second while even Steven continues to cruise away with the win here in Austria. Round 11 of the season, 18 races this year. After today, we only have seven more. Even Steven looking to further extend his points lead. While drivers like Jesse Carlson, Bill Baldwin, Ty Magri, the full-timers here that are still in this race, they're looking to get every point they possibly can. So that way, they're not so far behind. 
for the rest of the seven races, and they're hoping for no rain. <laughs> hoping for dry conditions and praying to make a run at the two-time champion. Once Jesse was able to get back in front of Bill, he's actually been able to open it up a couple of car lengths. Bill kind of taking the conservative approach, and Jesse Carlson has actually been able to drive away from Bill Baldwin in that number 48 Chevy Corvette. Jesse is flying under two minutes remaining in this race, and it's looking strong, looking good for him to finish runner-up in this one, Bill Baldwin. Just want to lap down to your race leader, even Steven. That just goes to show you the blistering pace that he's been putting on in this race. Bill's holding on for third. It's about a one minute gap back to the German driver, Der Dude, in fourth. So it's a very safe distance for Bill to hang on to. IMAC, another 35 seconds behind Der Dude. So he's going to hold on to fifth. All positions have really been ultimately decided, except for the one for second and third. They are still within striking distance of each other, but Jesse Carlson has actually really driven away from that number 48 Chevy Corvette. They are now working the final lap of the race. The white flag was displayed the last time that they were at the start-finish line. The flag stand there. And we only have 10 seconds left on the clock until we reach the one hour mark and therefore everyone will see the checkered flag the next time they reach the start finish line. We have a driver reaching the finish line now and it will be the end of his race. He will finish in the fourth place position in his debut in the GT Cup Series. Give it up for the German driver Der Dude. Back. Two wins this season. The third won't come today, but a top five finish will. Brings it home in fifth for Team GTR. One more corner for Shadow. He's got a handful of top fives this year. Only one finish outside the top ten, and he's going to finish in sixth. Out of the final corner, he comes. Sixth win of the season. He's done it again. And even Steven wins in the Audi R8. Jesse Carlson will finish in second. Bill Baldwin will claim third. And we'd like to thank the viewers for tuning in to round 11 of the 2021 GT Cup season. Keep your eyes on the channel for more action. And until next time, stay fast, folks.